Today we're commissioning the new Circuit Board Assembly Pick and Place line for Lemon Engineering. It's been a long, long time coming. This has been about an eight to 12 month process, engaging with Super Engineering and sort of figuring out exactly what we needed. We've chosen these machines specific to our workflow. We can basically create designs, get circuit boards back from suppliers, assemble them with high precision on the new machines in quantities of, you know, couple of boards to couple hundred boards within days, not within weeks like before. The machines have come in, they've been put into place, leveled up, put onto the little rigid stand we've made for this one. We've got Edwin over from Super Engineering in Sydney. He's a very quiet guy, but very diligent, which is what we like to see. Had to be up at 3 a.m. Perth time in Sydney, flew over, came straight to the office. He's here for a whole week working with Gary, who's our electronics manufacturing engineer, and they are looking to dial the machines in. We're sort of jumping around on the machines. We've got a few little teething issues at the moment. There's different heads, there's different cameras. They need to be effectively dialed into their exact positions because that's the side of the scale we're looking at. We're looking at things on the half a millimetre size scale. When the guys are running the machine through its different operations, it's effectively finding out the exact positioning of, say, the camera in regards to the head. And that also takes into account the positioning of the machine and the floor and any flex or things like that. It's also just running the general systems up and making sure that everything moves as expected. But that's the easy part. The hard part is actually making the machine know exactly what offsets are between its position that it thinks it's in and the position that it's actually in. We don't have it set up with a continuous conveyor line. We basically batch putting the circuit boards into the stencil machine pull them out by hand, put them into the pick and place machine. That allows us to have more feeders on the machine for the same footprint and only have one machine instead of having two machines. It allows us to basically have a high mix so we can have lots of different components on some of the more complex boards that we usually use with our industrial IoT and consumer IoT devices that we're developing. The pick and place machine in particular has 128 feeders and we have a whole bunch more feeders in storage basically ready to be able to have a job on the machine and then be setting up for another job in parallel. Once they're calibrated we're basically running boards through. We've got boards ready to go. We're doing a consumer product for cycling industry. That'll be one of the first boards we actually put through this as well which actually allows us to test a new sensor. Full production run. Boards into the stencil machine, nicely stenciled. Boards into the pick and place machine. Let's see how we go. These machines aren't too common in Western Australia. There's a few very good production houses around Australia. The unfortunate thing is that they are very busy. The turnaround times on things are just not what they used to be. And we've had to bring that in-house, primarily because of COVID. When we've done circuit board designs before, we have had to outsource it, liaise with high production production houses. We've then developed the skills internally to be able to hand place things and create small batches but we really want to fill that gap in between where we can turn around things really, really fast and produce medium batch production. The 20 OVs to the 200 OVs, we're basically trying to maintain the level of service we had before for customers and even do it better. If you're working with Element Engineering, we want to be as transparent as possible. If we say it's going to be a week or two weeks, we want to make sure we deliver on that. It's a nice thing to have this in-house. It'll complement our engineering services, but we're totally open to having people come in who are not doing engineering with us to utilise the machines and just place your boards. And also we have our own products in the industrial IoT domain, which we're going to take to market. We've now got Gary in-house. He's an ex-Toyota electronics engineer. He's the highly skilled in ISO 9001. We've brought him in specifically to run our pick and place line. Also our assembly line putting them into the housings, making sure they're calibrated correctly and making sure that when they go out to the end user, they are working 100%. A lot of customers come to us and they sort of say, hey, I've got this idea for this thing and we go and use our skills in mechanical electronics software and try to create a real product. We then go and do the discrete pieces of work. How does the circuit board fit into the mechanical housings? How does it all work together with an app or sending information to the web, things like that. We have some very skilled electronics engineers in-house who are able to properly create these things to international standards. 
whole process with Suba has been great for the last 10 years. The process with them has been extremely transparent. That's the way we like to work as a business. It's really nice to be working with them and be able to lean on them as a supplier, much more than just a transaction. So thanks Suba.